Welcome to the B.F. Anderson Technical Report for September the 8th. On a fundamental note, I wanted to share this with you. The Cabot organization recently went back approximately 30 years, looked at the greatest growth stocks that were the most successful, and came up with six characteristics. Here they are. These are companies that invested in mass markets. In other words, like a Walmart. You know, everybody can go to a Walmart. It almost becomes infinite as to how many customers you can have. Number two, market dominance, barriers to entry. You always want to look for monopolies or duopolies. You want companies that dominate their businesses. You know, therefore, they have strong profit margins, but the competition will come. The third point was accelerating earnings growth. This is so important. You know, people look at P.E. ratios and think they're important. The O'Neill organization did an 80-year study where they said the most important factor that they found in high-quality growth stocks was the fact that their earnings were accelerating. Number four, triple-digit revenue growth, very important. Number five, high profit margins. Well, that ties back to number two, whereas if you have market dominance, you can charge pretty much what you want. Number six, excellent innovative management. Very important. Uh, look at, you know, Walmart, Sam Walton, uh, Microsoft, Bill Gates, uh, Apple, Steve Jobs, Tesla, Elon Musk. In other words, there is a direct correlation with a CEO that is special uh, with these successful companies. So look, I wanted to get right into the charts. Now what we're looking at here is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. I'm going back to 1980. Now one thing I, I did want to mention is that the Last year, there was a very important demographic event that took place. It was where the millennials, which are, and the, we define millennials as, as people between the ages of 18 and 34. The millennials have surpassed the baby boomers in population. So in other words, we're starting to see where the millennials are becoming the dominant portion of the population. And so what they consume and what they want is going to be a very important area to invest in. But I do think it's also worth noting that the last time we had a generational shift, which was the baby boomers surpassing the World War II generation, the market was here. And so the last time we had a generational shift, the market went from 1,000 to 12,000. Now, I wanted to also talk about what's going on internationally. This is the London Financial Times Index. You can see here that we're, you know, we've been talking for the last couple of weeks about China. Well, China is certainly doing well, but we're starting to see Europe really picking up. So here is another graph, but this is the emerging markets. This would include Latin America, Asia, uh, wherever there are emerging markets. Well, this, this index is holding up incredibly well. So it kind of looks like to me the market's discounting not just U.S. growth, but international growth. Now here is Germany. You can see here, breaking out, looking very strong. Here is, uh, now also keep in mind the dollar has weakened and that is helping these countries with their exports. But this is Japan. You can see here where Japan is somewhat breaking out. Now Japan is going to be an interesting uh, country to watch. Now here's the top five. Um, Align Technology continues to make the list. It's a technology for straightening teeth and stocks acting right. Here's AutoZone, not AutoZone, excuse me, Auto Home, which is a Chinese company that does specialize in the automobile industry, continues to look strong. Here is Alibaba, which is the uh, Amazon of China, continues to be in a strong uptrend. Here's a new name, not really familiar with them, got to learn about them, Novacure, which is a medical equipment company, is acting strong. Again, another biotech, which is Vertex Pharmaceuticals, it looks strong as well. So the point I'm making this morning is, is that it does look like worldwide growth is expanding. It looks like worldwide economies are improving. Therefore, that'll be good for the stock market. Let me know if you have any questions.